Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome to the Daily Smash for Wednesday, August 17th. I'm Rick Leventhal. I'm Kelly Leventhal. Thanks so much for being on the Rick and Kelly Show and for making our channel such a success. Our Tuesday Smash was our best yet. Yeah. Ratings-wise. And the nose job video that I posted Tuesday morning was our best performing video in three months. Wow. Who knew? I, I didn't Who know knew? People, I didn't know people would care about my nose job, but they one did. person did not. <laughs> Out of <laughs> the ten thousand people who watched it in like ten hours, one person did not like it. Out of the two hundred plus comments. Read the read the read the negative Nancy. Harry, <laughs> read the Her negative Nancy. Nancy's name is Harriet Macy. <laughs> she wrote clickbait. I only want to see real housewife commentary. Do not care about your house or your surgery. Truly do not care about your plastic surgeries. You two think this is fascinating, but we do Who's not. We? Who's we? Because 10,000 people Wait, just gets, watched this. It gets better. Oh, yeah. Stick to the subject your channel is about. Otherwise, you will fall out of favor. Wow. Harriet. Who, thanks for telling all, us. <laughs> Harriet. Who named you Harriet? That's, that, that name was from the 1950s. Her mom. Huh? Her mom named her Harriet. <laughs> well, my name's Kelly. I know that's old school too, but Harriet, that's like Maud. Thanks for telling us what our channel is about. Yeah. Now, we you. do have a Housewife Recap show. Yeah, but that's not what our channel is about, Harriet. It's about... The, we have a whole bunch of, of things, Harriet. Yeah, speaking of which, you can go to our Patreon.com Rick and Kelly show, also available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts in an audio version only. Patreon is video, subscription-based, but awesome Unfiltered, uncensored, and a lot of fun. If you I love, love our how content she's telling here, us what our our channel is about. <laughs> that. Thank you. Congratulations. You know what? There's on always that one. one of those. There's always one of those. Uh, I mean, there's not always a lot of those. Go live in San Francisco. There's a ton of those. So I lived there. It was miserable. You did not enjoy San Francisco. No, it's a bunch of you know. You know what I think. You know those kinds of people. Yeah. With the gray hair. Yeah. Hairy armpits. <laughs> you know what I think. You're the San Francisco treat. Oh, yeah. You, Thank you. You're, well, about, you're about to get taken care of. Okay, thanks. Um, we, uh, it's, did you want to know the truth? It's actually when, uh, Tuesday night. Yeah, we have to leave really, really. We have things to do <laughs> early, early in the morning. We're taping this Tuesday night. We just got off a boat, Steel Platts boat. He started the yard house. He has this beautiful, brand new, seventy foot yacht. Four million dollars. Let's show him a yacht. little, pic some pictures and video from okay. this boat. It, I, a four million dollar house, yacht, yacht. Three bedrooms, three bathrooms. You know, it's just bar and a living room and TVs and. You know what a yacht? You know what a boat is like? What? You get a hole. Yeah. And you dig far deep in it, and you just throw money at the hole. That's. You have to have big time money to you have the, a kind of yacht like that. You know what the next best thing is to having your own boat? Having friends that have boats. Exactly. Uh, someone, I had a com, uh, call, business call earlier today, and the guy was in New Jersey. He goes, I can't leave New Jersey. I, I'd miss the seasons. Don't you miss the seasons? And I was like, no. What, what? To, to wait to the next season to have it better <laughs> because it sucked so bad before? Why would like, I miss winter? <laughs> Like, I like snow. I'll go skiing. I'll go skiing for one day. You can go up to here. for. You can go up to uh, Tahoe. It's in one hour. Uh, you can go to Aspen. That's two hours. I can go Big to Bear. snow. Big Bear is a one-hour drive. I, 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 I mean, like everything snow. about California is so cool is yeah. that, it's not, not the politics, but it's about, they have we have desert. We have snow. We have wine. We have ocean. We have... A plethora of uh, topography here. I was going to say topography. Yeah, a, 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 a lot of microclimates, if you will. It, you know what? Listen, I did grow up in the East Coast, and I did grow up with the seasons, and I did love the seasons. Fall's beautiful, spring's nice, but it also sucks half the time. And winter it sucks most of the time. It, I've been to the East Coast; it's horrible. <laughs> I love snow, but I like it for a second. For like I'm the first freezing. hour. I do not like to be bundled up. I do not like snowshoes. Hey. I don't like to be in a cold car. In New York City, Ooh. when the snow turns to dirty snow and like slush and ice and like it's misery. Don't you miss the seasons? Yeah, to, no, to wait. Not really. The seasons are to make it to wait for the next best season. Okay, we we have to get to the news. Okay. Because these these are, these things are supposed to be quick. Okay. So 
Okay, uh, professional. The top story, Liz Cheney lost. And I don't know why that makes me so happy. Like, I, I'm not really... I guess I'm more concerned. It made it made it made David uh, David Junior Harris David Harris Junior. Yeah, David Harris Junior. It was so funny that yeah, video. Yeah, he he he. If so, you guys uh, don't watch him, he was so excited. Representative so. Liz Cheney, a Republican out of Wyoming, a one-time House GOP leader and daughter of former Vice President Dick Cheney, was ousted in a Republican primary Tuesday night. Former President Donald Trump's name was not on the ballot, but his shadow eclipsed the contest as he sought revenge for Cheney's vote last year to impeach him and her work on the committee investigating his behavior leading up to the January 6th attack on the Capitol. His hand-picked challenger, Harriet Hageman, defeated Cheney in a multi-candidate race. So this, who is, who, okay. I know, don't know anything about Harriet. I, no. <laughs> Speaking well, who, of who has that names. name? <laughs> Sorry, Don't Harriet. Great, At least wait, she might be a senator, right, or a representative. But what I'm saying, okay, who is Liz Cheney? Is she is Dick she, Cheney's is, daughter? Yeah, is she Dick Cheney's daughter? She is. Is she? Yeah. No you, way. No. I <laughs> see, and that's how I'm. I'm so You're unpolitical, not. you guys. Like I don't. Follow politics as you, it's unbelievable. I, I don't, that. okay? Who's Dick Cheney's daughter? I, I honest mean, to God, the... do not follow politics. What I do know is I lived in China and I know this country is going into communism, okay? And if you want to live there and have the government tell you what to do, I mean, I'm just a normal free thinker that most people in America think that they want to be told what to do. I'm not. Can I read you a, so a Liz Cheney know. quote? <laughs> Yeah. She said, this primary election is over, but now the real work begins. I, what, what does that even mean? Huh? What does that she mean? She lost the primary, but now the real work begins. That was a path I could not and would not take, she said, to side with Trump. She vowed to continue her crusade against him. We must be very clear-eyed about the threat we face. Do whatever it takes to ensure that Donald Trump is never again anywhere near the Oval Office. The Republican Party is important to her, Cheney added, but I love my country more. See, this is what I, I this bothers me more than anything. These politicians in Washington, primarily Democrats. They're full of crap. All full of them. crap. And they're bending over backwards to prevent Trump from taking office again. They were doing everything they can to to to, sh to handcuff him during his his one term in office. The guy was getting stuff done. The country was doing pretty damn well when he was in the White Better House. Better than it is now. You, you might not like him, but he was kicking ass. I didn't like him. And but, I did. But you like liked him. what he was doing. I like what he was doing, but I don't. I don't like. Someone that is a, a, a narcissist well, that thinks they're full of I'm themselves. I'm sorry, that describes every politician. No, I like DeSantis. Okay, but okay, I, I do too. I, I hope DeSantis runs against Trump. I loved what Trump did. I loved his press conferences. They were the most entertaining press conferences I've ever seen a president or any politician give. The guy was amazing in, on camera, and he did a lot of great things for the country. He and did. If not for the Democrats trying to trying to sweep the legs every time he tried to do something. He would have gotten a lot more done. And they just, they're going out of their way. They're, they're not even doing the country's work. They're just trying to to, to keep them I out of the White House. I want to run for office. I will have everybody I will do a, 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 a flat tax. I'll make things fair for everyone, okay? Two, two more items. Okay. Oh, I'm so, sorry. I wanna, I'm just I saying, you. I want to make things fair for everyone, okay? It, I want a flat tax for everybody because I lived in Hong Kong. It, everything was thriving. I don't like taxes as much as they are right now. People don't understand. This is the thing. You get taxed, your money's taken away from you, and you don't even realize it. When you go to the grocery store and there's bottles, you buy bottled water, there's CRB tax. There's a gas, a gas tax. tax. There is a, a there's taxes for everything. You Real go over tax. there's I mean everything. Tax when you buy a car, license plate. Everything is taxed. Yeah. If it was just a flat tax, if you make more, you pay more. Right. It's just it's just easy. I don't understand what this whole thing is about. Every and by the way, the middle class, mhm, mm we're getting pushed down to the down to the bottom. And people think, "Oh, if you vote Democrat, if you do if you vote this, that you, they're helping us." Yeah, no, they're not. And know that this whole bull crap about the uh the, the global warming, that's another tax. You know why we don't people have a flat don't tax? People don't realize that. You people know why? don't get it. You know why we don't have a flat tax? Because it's too easy. It makes too much sense. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. It's too simple. That's how have, I would. You'd have to get rid of the entire IRS because everyone's paying the same percentage of their earnings, which is fair. Let's yeah. all be honest. You make 10 bucks, you pay two bucks if you're paying 20% tax. You make a, a million dollars, you pay $200,000. You're paying your 20%, no matter how much you make. So the rich people pay more than the poor people. Right. But everyone pays the same because we're all equal. Right. We're all equal, right? It makes too much sense. It makes too much sense. We Meanwhile, so, you, so you're letting the richest escape taxes with loopholes. Yeah. And the poorest wind up paying them more than their share. And the middle class, the middle class is, is getting, getting we're getting to taxed death. to death and people don't okay. get it. Next news item. Well, don't, I don't think people really understand. What, well, I think what, we just explained it beautifully. Okay. I think. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Speaking of financial hardship, housing prices could plummet. The probability of a, quote, severe downturn in the U.S. housing market is on the rise, according to new guidance from credit reporting agency Fitch. You ever hear of Fitch? No, have you? Nope. And why are you even quoting them if you don't even know who they well, are? Well, they were in the article. Oh, okay. Fitch's likely projections suggest that U.S. home prices could sink by 10 to 15 percent in the case of a major housing slump, alongside a roughly 30 percent decline or more in housing activity over the next few years. The likelihood of a severe downturn in U.S. housing has increased. However, our rating case scenario provides for more moderate pullback that includes a mid-single-digit decline in housing activity in 2023. What do you think is going to happen when housing prices explode by 40 percent? Of course they're going to pull back. Well, there's always, it's all like cyclical, right? Like yeah. it always goes up and down. I mean, how many times have you seen it? I mean, you're old as mold. I, I'm really old. And how many times have you seen the housing market go up and down? Multiple times. How many times. times have you seen interest rates go up? Multiple how many times. times have you seen crashes? Multiple. More it than just more. it just happens. It happens. It's 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 an algorithm, right? Like so it just goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up. But I can say real estate is a great investment. Yeah. Because there's gonna be there's gonna be you can't build more land and there's more people, nope. you know, adding to the world. There is. And so it's it's not it's not a bad investment no. ever. Well, I'm if you hold on to it, like Warren Buffett said, we're, we're holding on to our desert house. I love that place. Yeah, well, because that was cheap. But we're not allowed to talk about it because that one lady. Well, didn't what about like it. what about the Hamptons? Your Hamptons house is almost paid off. Yeah, I, I don't know. We can do whatever we want with it. We can we can sell it. We can use it. But we, we can, make money on that. We do. Okay. Uh, a couple was charged with having sex on a Ferris wheel in Ohio. God, they're kinky. I love the New York Post. They got two rides for the price of one. Wow. A daringly a nice frisky couple. Words. A daringly frisky couple have been charged with public indecency after they were caught allegedly having sex aboard an Ohio allegedly. Ferris wheel. Were they having sex or not? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the handsy duo, David Davis and Heather Johnson, both 32, allegedly did the deed inside they're, a chair of the horny. giant wheel inside the Cedar Point Amusement Park just after dark and were spotted by fellow riders, including minors. Oh, That's wow. where it gets serious. Because you don't want little kids watching that. Hell no. Uh, That's awful, actually. Davis of Florida and Johnson of Ohio. Were they, were they doing it? Like, were they, like, they're on a Ferris wheel. I mean, how are they seeing that? Were they, like, doing doggy? Well, laugh, like, what kind of, what I'm kind getting of, how to are that. they? Oh, you are? Yes. Okay, I didn't read this. The couple guys. laughed off onlookers who watched in astonishment as their alleged sex act could be seen in plain sight. Witnesses told investigators uh, the women and two girls under the age of 18 who were in the Ferris wheel chair behind the rowdy pair said they saw everything. Oh and reported God. the X-rated ride to police. God, it was like YouTube or you porn. The couple initially denied having very good. The couple initially denied having sex on the children's ride and claimed Johnson had just bent over to Johnson? pick up. Johnson, that's his name. <laughs> no, the girl. Oh. The the woman's name was Johnson. Oh. They claimed she had just bent over to pick up a pack of cigarettes that had fallen. Okay. Well. So now we know she was bent over. Yeah, classy. <laughs> <laughs> with the Johnson. They later confessed to knocking boots after learning two of the onlookers were minors and they were booked at Erie County Jail. Oh. There'll be a rain Monday if you want to go check that out. I, I don't. Thank okay. you. Thank you for um, telling me that story. It was so uh, profound. Well, you know, I like to include um, news items that are like uh, water cooler talking points. <laughs> okay. Did you hear so about the couple in Ohio who had sex on a Ferris wheel? Uh, okay. That's the Daily Smash for Wednesday, August 17th, What was that girl, the, the negative Nancy that commented, Harriet, <laughs> is that her name? Harriet? No, that was the woman who won, who beat. No, the other, Maude, what's the other girl's name? 
Uh, um, Maud. Was it oh, another Barbara? That, that sweetheart. Um, oh, uh, Harriet. 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 I hope you like that. Enjoy that. Uh, the we'll stick. We'll stick to housewives from now on. Oh, yeah, Harriet. we'll stick to housewives. Sorry about uh, that. And FYI, I'm not on that show anymore. I got. <laughs> I got the boot. I got the bullet. Yeah, but you should have been. You should be on there, and you should could you could well be on again. <laughs> I don't think so. No, I don't. Sorry, right. we got they our they YouTube like channel, baby. Yeah, I got we're my YouTube. I, you know what? We're rocking this. We are. We're and rocking thank the you. free world. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you guys. And we will see you tomorrow. Yeah, and we had so much fun on our boat cruise today. <laughs> <laughs>